Hey, welcome back, guys. Mm -hmm. So let's do a bit of cleanup here because uh, we have a few errors going on here. Things are not working as well as they could since we uh, since we did all this. So, for example, I'll give an example. This thing that I posted here was not intended to be a cover image as it looks here. So what I did was I tried to create a post. So I would say this is a post like this. And then I hit the browse button and I got uh, an image here and I posted it. Okay. So now what we will, you will notice is that the cover image has changed, right? And there's a post here uh, which I have zero control over. I cannot edit, I cannot delete. So this is a tragedy, but one with a simple solution. So what's really happening here? So let's investigate a little bit here. So if we go to our text editor and I will go to group.php, when something is posted, what exactly happens? So when something is posted here, the first thing we encounter is this include change image. Now, since I know this is the thing that actually changes the cover image, I should think the error is here. So what do we do? Let me put a space bar here just so it doesn't replace this file when I click on another one. So change image is over here. Mm -hmm. So now the thing is, once a, an image is changed, the problem is that we are redirected. So we can't really post the post. And if you notice this, oh, actually it has, this is a post over there because it does create a new post, doesn't it? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so the issue here is that once we go through here, it gets all excited and actually starts executing this data in here, which it is not supposed to do. This is only supposed to work if profile and cover are set. And in our case, we're actually setting them intentionally. Okay. We are setting them intentionally. So one thing we should look for is what exactly is set when we are trying to change a cover image that isn't set when we are trying to post. So let's first look at what fields are set when we try to create a post. So let's go down here. This one is for changing the cover image, right? So what fields do we have here? We just have the file and we have the button. We don't have any hidden fields over here. So one solution could be we could add a hidden field and that hidden field will tell us whether we are changing the cover image or not. Okay, but already we are supposed to have this cover at the end of the URL. So this should be enough, shouldn't it? So let's look at this here. This will be the first item in the parameter that's item zero in URL. And this will be item one, and this will be item two, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So what I'm supposed to look for is item two. So here, before I even check for these guys, what I'm supposed to do is check for the URL, right? So if I say if is a set URL location number two, like so. And so once it is set and the same item is equal to cover, yes? If it is set and it's equal to cover, then we should also, I don't know if it's even necessary to check if all these are set and count files is greater, but eh, it's okay to be safe. So I will put the and here as well, right? Then let's set that to cover. So let's see if we have sorted that out. So first of all, I will try to create uh, a post. This is an image post. Again, so let's try a different image this time. Let's try some food. Click, 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 click. 
So it's saying syntax error unexpected on line three. Unexpected if on line three. So I love syntax errors because they're like the easiest things to sort out. So on line three in change image.php. So line three right here. So that's because I added another if statement here. I have no idea why, but uh, yeah, so I did that. So I think that should solve the problem. Resend the data. Oh, syntax error unexpected online foe. We are unexpected bracket online foe. So what this is saying is that I am missing a bracket that should correspond with this one. So let's see here. Is said actually no, uh, I should close this one up like that. I think. Yeah, that gives us a good result there. So refresh. Let's resend the data. Ooh, so it looks like something is working. Aha, uh -huh. and now you can see we have actually posted. Hmm? Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's change the profile cover and see if we don't get problems. So let's change it to a burger again. Change. Ooh, burger, burger. So now my first group updated their cover image and this is all good. So this is looking good. It has worked. The cover image has changed and we did manage an image post. Well, would you look at that? Now, the thing is, because this item is posted by the group, this is why even I, being uh, uh, just a normal user, do not have access to delete or edit this. But we have to change this because I am admin of this page and I'm supposed to have the power to edit or delete this. Yes, yes. Now, it's not only the owner of the group, but every uh, moderator and admin should have that power. So let's give them that power, shall we? Now, this is inside the post.php file. So let's come down here and look at the, uh, the, the if statement that gives us access to to certain stuff like like here for example if group access if not group access session id uh wait a minute group member members okay so right here uh this is one of them but uh, i'm looking for one that is moderator or something like this one here so i will copy that uh, yes, I will copy that. So let's go to post.php here for a second. So where are you? Post.php. So there is a part here where we ask, do I own the content? Just so we can get the delete and edit button. So here, post, I own post. Do I own this post? Yeah, do you think I do? Maybe not, maybe yes. Hmm? So what we can do here is because I own post is already there uh, in most of these places to check if somebody actually owns the post. So we can simply go there and have it check, first of all, if that person uh, really belongs to a group uh, belongs to admins of a specific group that owns that post yeah so it can be tough to do that but let me come here for for a second let's go to the functions themselves inside classes functions.php shall we so i'll come down here i own content yeah shouldn't we have used that instead the i own content right this looks more robust than using the post version because group here has a way of uh, checking those items actually. So if we send I own content the whole row, then we sort that problem out. Yes, 
then we can forget about the post I own post which we had created because it, it has become kind of redundant now. So what do we do? Let's come back here to functions, copy that, and let's try it here instead. So if, now keep in mind that the row is this row here. So let's uh, do that. Let me put that there. And let's change that to a capital letter row. So if I own content, yes, it's more robust. So let's try that. So it doesn't seem to recognize that I actually own these. Yeah, so must be a flow somewhere. So I own content. Do I own content? Yeah. Okay, so let's come back here. So since it doesn't really have that uh, I own content. Um, wait a minute. Let's come back to the same here. Let's see how easy this would be to convert for groups. So let's see here group okay so this one only checks for if the group itself is owned so comments and posts this is the one with comments and posts right mm -hmm. so get one post if that is equal to me true if not is equal to false okay so we can really uh, fix this problem right here because this looks more uh, verbose or more robust so what we will do here is if this is true, mm -hmm. okay, so here's checking that if my ID is equal to row user ID, then that's correct. But let's go to our, our local host uh, database, shall we? Inside my book here, let's go to posts. So let's look at what exactly makes a post your post. So. For example here, the user ID, definitely. But in our case, we have, sometimes the user ID is the group name, but, uh, oh, we have owner here that is completely uh, overlooked, isn't it? So we are not using owner here for some reason. Let me come back here for a second. Let's go to the very end. Let's see what's going on. So to the very end, we have parent, we have user ID. Oh, but looky there, we have owner. Mm -hmm. So owner here is the person that actually, uh, let's see, user ID. Okay, so owner is the, the, the group name. That's what owns this particular post here. So what we will do is we have the owners, uh, the user ID of the person that posted, but the very last one here, if you notice, it's got both the owner who posted and the group name are exactly the same. So it's owned by the group. So we have to find a way to tell it that if the user ID is equal to the one of the groups that I belong to, uh, then uh, we are good to go. Okay, so how do we check that? So we know the user ID belongs to a group. So I, I need to know if I belong to this group and I'm a moderator or I am an admin. 